Today's episode is about the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This is my first video on Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. In this tutorial, we will be covering the extreme basics. Number one, Node MCU ESP8266 board installation. Number two, Blink library download and installation. Number three, fixing the USB to UART bridge controller error. Number four, Blink application setup to control an LED from anywhere around the world. So let's get started. The components that we'll be needing for this project are number one, Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. Number two, cell phone data cable. This cable will be used for uploading the program and can also be used to power up this module using your computer or laptop. In upcoming tutorials, I'll show you how to make your own power supply for Node MCU. So make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon. The components purchase links are given in the description. First of all, open any latest version of the Arduino IDE. Currently, I have 1.6.5 version, so I will use this one. Now, copy this link. You can find this link in the description and paste it in additional boards manage URLs. And click OK. Now click on the Tools menu and select Boards Manager. Now scroll down and search for the ESP8266. Select and click Install. After the board is installed, now download the Blink library from GitHub. Is I have already downloaded this and now simply copy and paste it into the Arduino's libraries folder. Now open the Arduino's IDE. Click on File, then Sketchbook Libraries, Blink, Boards, Wi Fi, and select ESP8266 standalone. and click on the verify button to check if our setup is completed. As you can see there is no error. It means we are good to go. Now open the device manager to check the COM board. As you can see it has a yellow icon which means the driver is not installed. Simply search on Google and download the necessary driver files and install the driver. Now as you can see the yellow icon has disappeared and it's installed on COM5. Now open the Arduino's IDE and select the right COM port and board. Now let's set up our Blink application. For this first of all download and install Blink application. Open the Blink application. Click on the plus button to create a new project. Let's name it LED. Now click on Choose Device and select Node MCU. And press OK. Make sure the connection type is set to Wi-Fi and click on Create. An authentication token will be sent to your email. Now click on the plus button and add a button. Click on the button. Now click on the pen 
and select D2 as we will be connecting an LED with D2 pin of the node MCU. Change the mode to switch type. Now we are done. Right now if you click on the play button it will show wasn't online yet. As the node MCU module is off and is not connected with the Wi-Fi. The Node MCU D2 pin is connected with the anode side of the LED through a current limiting resistor and the ground pin of the Node MCU is connected with the cathode side of the LED. Now let's have a look at the program. This is a very basic and small program to control an LED from anywhere around the world. This is the authentication token. This is the name of the Wi-Fi module. And this is the password. Pin mode D2 output and LED is connected with D2 pin of the node MCU. Blink dot begin authentication, the SSID and the password. Then there's a while loop function, and we simply call this function blink dot run. I have already uploaded this program. Now let's watch this project in action. Let's power up Node MCU by connecting it with a computer or laptop or 705 voltage regulator or any other source as Node MCU has a 3.3 volt regulator so it won't damage. As you can see we can turn on and turn off this LED using Wi-Fi. This LED can be controlled from anywhere around the world. In the upcoming tutorials, we will be using this module for monitoring sensors, security systems, core GPS tracking system, home and office automation, robots controlling and much more. Subscribe now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.